What's up guys, Aeronius here, back with another Rage Shadow Legends video, and finally I'm back. It's been about five or six days since I've posted, almost a week now. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was. I did have COVID, so over the past week or so. So uh, yeah, just kind of recovering, and I feel a little bit better, so I feel like I can make a video. And of course, best video to make is going to be for the Ancients, right? So why not come back and pull some shards, and uh, hopefully we get something good. But uh, what am I looking for? So it is 2x and 10x for Nekmothar, which is pretty sweet. There's a lot that have already gone on in 2024. Happy New Year to you all, by the way. And um, I know with the new powder that just came out, that's freaking sweet. Like, so awesome. And the fact that they don't have a limit, a cap on the powder to keep re-rolling your gear. Now, I will say, sometimes it'll take a while to get what you want and you might go through 20, 30, 40, 50 powder, and then you have to keep on grinding sand level 25 to get more, which is the downside of it, but at least you can keep on going back, reutilizing powder to try to uh, get the right substats that you're looking for or the ascension that you're looking for. So that's huge. That's actually massive. Um, I actually got really lucky. I was able to upgrade a few different champion pieces of gear. So for one, I think wasn't his... This was already done. I actually re-geared my Sun Wukong to be crazy fast, 284. A little bit of damage, but it's not in Savage or Lethal. A little bit more accuracy as well. So now he's my speedy champion. I also re-geared my Foley as well, and I put him in the best gear on my account for a damage dealer. So he's at 280 crit damage, and he's also at 245 speed now. This is my free-to-play account, my main account free-to-play. I've been playing for over four years. So, um, so there's my Foley now. He's freaking running insane, and I was using him in Live Arena, and he was just catching people off guard left and right. Dude's actually a beast. He's way better than you think. Yes, he's not the meta, but he is extremely powerful, especially against Sun Wukong and champions that you're just trying to block revive. Also extremely powerful against Rodos as well. Um, other champs, I upgraded. I think his gear... Did I try to get speed? No, I didn't. Forget the pieces of gear, which champions I used it on. I think it might have been... It was definitely on damage champions for sure. His I re-rolled this one to try to get crit damage. It went to HP percent. Was it Samson? Oh yeah, so it was this one right here. HP percent. This was HP flat turned into speed. So that's huge from the powder. So that was massive. And then... What else did I do? These two I need to re-roll. Like this one, for example, I could try to re redo this one. I haven't done it yet, but I'm looking for crit damage, not defense percent. Can we get lucky? Let's see. Crit damage is what we're looking for, or crit rate. HP flat. So that sucks, but, you know, I can keep running stage 25 of Sand Devil, get more, and try to rework. So basically my goal is to rework these two pieces, hoping for HP percent here, crit damage here. The other champion that I upgraded as well, I believe it was... Not hers. She had crit damage. Um, yeah, I don't remember the other two champs or if it was just random pieces of gear. But either way, I had a couple other pieces that landed. Oh, it was this one right here, Errol. So I did max out my Errol. I got masteries on him over the last few days. He's not... He's not as good as I thought he was going to be for my new force nuker. He has to have full books to get the full amount of damage you're looking for. And the reason why he's not that great is because of attacks one enemy one time attacks one enemy one time and so against champions like uh rodos you want him to kill rodos but he can't because this ability only attacks one time and he can't go through udk so it's really irritating and plus he has to have accuracy to optimize this ability now i will say his gear is pretty good savage uh, sorry, not savage. Lethal and cruel, 5,500. You can the the one thing that's good for him is all of his attacks have an additional 30% chance to hit, inflict a critical, and so you can build him to 70% crit rate, which is great. But and that allows you to build more accuracy. But his abilities in general need to hit multiple times for him to be very strong. And his only ability that's his saving grace is this one, but it has such a low multiplier, so it doesn't hit that hard. Marinix has a higher multiplier than this guy. 
I think this multiplier is like a 1.5 or a 1.6. So, and she has two AoEs. So Marinix might actually be better than him. But, I mean, yeah. I, I was kind of put down a little bit. So this guy also upgraded his boot ascension speed. So that was huge. So he's going to get about another 10 or 11 speed. He'll be around 250 speed, which is awesome with lethal. And then I'm going to redo this one. I'm going to redo this one to hopefully get eight attack percent instead of HP percent. And we're looking for crit damage here. Yeah, so let's get into it. Let's start pulling some shards. I'm looking for Nekmo. I'm looking for a Rodos. I'm looking for a Harima. I'm looking for any good champions. Kaimar would be great as well. So let's do this. I do have some space. I'm going to have to do uh, a quick moving of champions to make more space in a little bit. But let's do this. Hopefully we can get something good. I don't know if we will for sure. 820, why do they keep having this go? In 2024 uh kalia there meh make myself a little smaller there we go yeah uh, it's really irritating that they still have the points there so i know this is all rares it just it's frustrating okay one one epic i already have epic that this epic specifically um yeah nothing else here to really be too concerned about for rares yeah, they need to fix that. Come on, Plarium. That's it's an easy fix. This is all rares, maybe one epic again. It makes it just really it takes away from the dopamine rush, right? It doesn't make you feel good. All right, let me make some room real quick and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're going to go ahead and pop 5 and then do the last 310 pops. So let's do this. Hopefully we can get something at least a legendary. I mean, I'm not anywhere near my mercy. I've only pulled before I did these pulls here for you today. I'm at 41 Ancients, so plus whatever I've just pulled. Madman, wish they didn't give him a nerf. I wish they didn't nerf him into the ground. Would have been nice if they just maybe capped his damage to like 500k hits or something like that. That's all they needed to do. Just cap the damage. Don't nerf people into the ground to do no damage. Okay. So, and one more. Here we go. Come on. Get lucky. Come on. Give me a legendary. Ah, at least give me some more epics here. Rough stone. I think he hits fairly hard for a rare champion. Attacks all enemies on the A1, which is not bad. So that's pretty sweet if you put him in a stun set. He could actually be pretty viable for the Cursed City, to be honest. I think I got a 6-star awakening for this guy, so I could, if I build one, I'll put a 6-star awakening on him. Alright, let's do this. Come on. Give me a legendary. That's not a legendary. That's epics. Burangiri. The rest. Burangiri is good for soloing Bommel. Sepulcher Sentinel. Not what I need. I don't really need many epics at this point on my account. Are we going to go 60? Oh, there's a legendary. Okay. A Morrigan. Dang it. It's a 10x for freaking Necmo. Dang. Well, it's a duplicate Morrigan. So, Faction Guardians, of course. But, uh, not who I'm looking for. She's definitely a strong champion. She's like a Lysandra, but she also has fears as well and decreased accuracy, which is huge. Increased speed as well. So she's a strong champion in arena and live arena, but I don't, I don't really need her. <laughs> I mean, it's good for faction guardians though. I'll take it. And a hundred. So all rares. All right. So that's it. That is it, man. Wow. Let's go to faction guardians here. Uh, Morgane's undead. Hey, so we're getting closer for the undeads, though. I think undead might end up being my first one, my first uh, guardians to get fully maxed with the 10 speed. That's going to be huge. Okay. All right, we'll take it. 30 accuracy, 30 resistance. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, we got what we got. We got a Morgane. It's not... It wasn't terrible because I could fill my faction guardians. Hey, we got a legendary book as well and a five-star chicken. So I will take that. We are in fifth place here. I honestly would rather be in sixth place to get the gems over this trash five-star rare garbage freaking relentless gear. Like they need to fix this. They need to fix this right here and change these to six-star. Change these two to six-star. Put this to six instead of four. This to four, six-star. This to six star with six, this to six star with four of the rare. 
They need to fix this. This is just, this is horrendous. Um, 100 gems, in my opinion, is better than four five-star rare relentless, unless you get absolute god tier relentless, which is highly unlikely that you're going to. You're probably going to get all flat stat garbage pieces, and you're not going to want to use chaos or on the rare pieces. So that's just my personal opinion. But hey, we got some energy. We got a legendary book. That's fine. I'm fine with that. So anyways, that's it for this video. Good luck if you are pulling. Hopefully you get that Nekmo Thar. I didn't get him, but I would like a Nekmo for Hydra. It is what it is. I didn't get him, but maybe next time. Who knows? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you all. Have a great day. Have a great evening, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.